Um, my name is Christopher Edo. I'm the CTO for Morph Labs. We're located in Los Angeles, and we are a uh, we build a integrated <laughs> appliance essentially uh, with OpenStack. So we certify hardware with a couple different hardware vendors, and we deploy a managed and supported installation of OpenStack. Uh, a key piece of that is that we use Puppet for all of our deployments to manage the manage the machines down the road, and we use Puppet for all of the updates and upgrades um, and hot fixes and everything else. When it comes to automation, and when, in fact, when it comes to standing up a cloud uh, on anything other than a dev stack testing instance, if you're not using configuration management, you're going to be uh, very, very sorry, and you're going to run into the major problems. It's guaranteed. Uh, cloud is extremely complex, um, and if you're not using configuration management, it's going to be really hard to keep track of all the interconnected pieces. So we have been big fans of Puppet for, at Morph Labs, we've been big, big fans of Puppet for years and years. We have a lot of uh, Puppet developers and Puppet users in our shop. So for us, uh, there was never a question, really, whether or not we were going to go with Puppet or one of the other alternatives. Uh, the other major advantage is Puppet Labs have been really, really deeply involved with OpenStack from the very beginning. Uh, and the, the manifests that are coming out of Puppet Forge are probably about the best uh, out there in terms of automating uh, an OpenStack stand-up. And you can look at like what Mirantis just released with Fuel, which has Puppet behind the scenes. So they've got a you know basically a Pixie installer that gets the boxes ready and then applies Puppet manifests on top of them to stand up a cloud. Um, and it, without a really good uh, configuration management solution, that wouldn't be possible. There'd be really no realistic way to do it reliably and especially no way to scale it up uh, without, without losing your mind. We're seeing a lot of traction in the enterprises, especially in getting a private cloud within the organization, and also uh, allowing them to start migrating their workloads off of AWS, for instance. And uh, in that instance, they're using a hybrid cloud where they have some cloud resources inside their own organization, and then uh, external cloud like on Amazon or Rackspace. Uh, and within our UI, we are working on integrating. Um, connections to Amazon so that from a single pane of glass you can manage your internal cloud but also uh, manage and operate your resources on Amazon making it easier for people to start uh, migrating that, that workload and, and a lot of that data from an external public cloud into their own private cloud, but then leaving the, the ability really easily for them to, to scale out to public cloud if they need capacity for a short time um, and unexpectedly.